Country 550 and 92.9 WAME and W225BD Statesville. And good morning. It's 10 Charity o'clock Lab. right on the button, and we do have uh, mostly clear skies. Just a gorgeous day in the sunny south. And if it's a Thursday and it's 10 o'clock, that means it's time for Marin Tomlin. Yay! Yay. <laughs> And Hit that button. Downtown <laughs> on tap. It's the yay button. Uh, Good morning. You have to have actors in here so they can do all that stuff. And we'll count Artists. you as an actor. Too. Artists. Artists. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Of course, Marin Tomlin, the uh, CEO, president, no. vice Executive president. Executive director. Okay, good. <laughs> Keep going. Of, uh, Keep going. Downtown States Full Development <laughs> Corporation. Done, that's right. Aspiration. The Duchess of Development. <laughs> Ooh, that's even better. Well, we can't call her the Queen. We know who that is. No, that's, <laughs> she's across the street. Yes. Indeed. Uh so uh in that great small town stuff that you got, you know, everybody has their part. Everybody has a title. <laughs> that's right. And so who would be Liz Petrie? What what title would she Lady have? Lady in waiting to the Duchess. <laughs> I like that, lady in waiting. You're the lady in waiting. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, so uh, Downtown on Tap is a uh, great time where we find out what's happening downtown Statesville. Yeah, so it is It is kicking off, right? There's a lot happening. Tell us about um, uh, last Friday. Yeah, How'd it so go? We had a wonderful uh, evening at the Piedmont Healthcare Friday After Five summer concert. Uh, the weather was fabulous, and the music was wonderful. The beer was cold. The wine was chilled. <laughs> the food was great, and the company was just wonderful seeing everybody out. How many people were there? A bunch. You know, it's really <laughs> difficult to estimate, but I would probably say, um, I would say probably 2,000 people. I would have be so have I was at four to five hundred. Wow! I've got to get my eyes checked. No, <laughs> yeah, no, no. There was, the, yeah. Wow. Was because what we do is we, um, you know, we have to check everybody's ID. Mm-hmm. Right. So anyone that wants to have a drink gets a wristband, and then there's always normally a percentage of, in addition to mm-hmm. that, maybe aren't having a drink or that that'd be me. Thing. So, um, so yeah, <laughs> I would say about two thousand people now floating in and out. You know, wow! Yeah. Lots of smiling going on. Yeah, yeah. It was Aww. just a, it was just a nice evening. Um, I think people were just happy to get out and see people. Mm-hmm. So happy it to really be back was. to normal. Knock on oh, wood. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's <laughs> just keep mm, knocking on that wood. I always go by. I, I measure Friday after fives by the uh, the beach music uh, bands that come and play. So the Catalina is the biggest. So I, I have you have Catalina size which is from Mitchell College back to the post office. <laughs> and then you have all the other ones in between. So that was almost a Catalina size. It was, yeah. On, uh, on um, but people can go to um, svlfridayafter5.com. Mm-hmm. Right. And there is a, um, we've got photos from the concert. Oh, so you can kind of, if you weren't able to be there, you can go and live through the photographs. That's right. That's nice. And yeah. it was really nice. I mean, it was funny. It, um, Cindy came out and she took pictures of just all throughout downtown, mm-hmm. and there were people everywhere. So it's great the way uh, the way uh, uh, All American Sound has that thing. You can sit up here at the square mm-hmm. and eat, or down Delaney's or Wine Maestro or someplace. Music is just coming right straight up the street. But what's interesting Beautiful. is it's not like super loud at the no. concert, so no, it's, it's not. really nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they haven't fixed it just right. Yeah. All right, so who's your guest today? Yeah, so I am so excited. I have Tanisha Schoolfield, and we have been trying to get on the air for yeah. a little while. <laughs> it's been a minute. She had a big old birthday and, and trip that, that we had to reschedule. So um, not the trip, but our <laughs> time on the air. Um, so I'm excited to have her on. Mm-hmm. And I've got some of her bling Yes, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. I will. Yeah. So we'll, let me she switch cameras. Yes, yeah, so you can see there you our go. jewelry. Into that um, one right there. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at that here. That's it. <laughs> so there it is. Um, and then we also have Keith Ryan and Terry Wall with, um, well, I'm going to say the historic Sharp mm-hmm. House and yes. Romeo and Juliet. Mm-hmm. So lots, lots happening this weekend. So. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start with um, Tanisha. Tanisha yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and I actually listened. She was on Connect Ardell. Mm-hmm. Was it last week? Last week. week? Yeah, last week. Um, I think it was and last I, week. I yeah. remember listening to the show, and I thought, okay, we need to dive into some different things so that I'm not <laughs> just repeating. Um, but she was on the air with Laura, right? From yes. Ain't Misbehaving. Ain't Misbehaving. Ain't Misbehaving. Yes. Yes. Um, 
And so th that's an interesting story of how you evolved into your business. Yes. But I mean, as I was listening to there, I was really, there's, I think a lot of people out there who might have an interest in doing something like this, but think, oh, I don't, I don't have that talent or mm -hmm. how do I, how do I pull it together? Or how do I start? And how did, I mean, how did that evolve for you? I mean, because, you know, you just don't throw it together. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it started with me. I was actually dealing with some medical issues. Um, and it was back and we moved here. Our family moved here in 2001. So I actually started making jewelry around 2002. Um, I was dealing with medical issues on the couch and deep depression. Uh, you know, my kids were still young. They were like eight and five. And so we um, I would send them off to school, and I'd sit there, and I'm watching Carol Duvall's show on TV, HGTV. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I was never the crafty person, you know. I used to work for the airlines for many years, and um, so that came to an end. And so here I am in depression. And I had a sewing machine my father had bought me when I was in junior high school. So I'm like watching Carol do something. So I grabbed my sewing machine out and grabbed some fabric because my daughter had a pair of jeans that she wanted to wear and they were too small. I'm like, you can't wear them. But she kept trying to squeeze into them. I'm oh, like, you, no. gotta get, you gotta get rid of those because, oh my gosh, yeah. they will wear them. And the circulation no, off, you know? So <laughs> I told her, well, let me do something with them. So I made them into a purse. I cut them off, made them into a purse. And then I started sewing beads onto to make little okay. fringes. And then I had all these beads and stuff left over. So I'm watching Carol. Carol's making a bracelet. Well, let me see if I can do that. So it just evolved from there. I started making jewelry, and then it started accumulating at the house. And I'm like, okay, there's still that there. And then yeah, so but that's like, like your, you know, I mean, like, how did you? You just started throwing it together. I just and you've evolved from there. Evolved from there because it, I found that it was very therapeutic for me. Mm -hmm. It took my mind off of my pain. I do with medical issues, so it yeah. took my mind off the pain I was in. And focus on something that I could create and be beautiful. Yeah. And so it started It started from there, and then it just kind of, like, took off. And before I knew it, I was just making stuff, and I don't follow rules. I don't follow So you anything. just have an eye. You just have some sort of artistic yeah. eye where you just, like, see it and yeah. go, okay, that's going to look good. I'm kind of the out-of-the-box um, artist. I don't follow, like I said, I don't follow rules. I don't color in lines. And I kind of just flow. I say God inputs and I output. Yeah. And that's how we worked all these years. And so it's worked for me. And so why change something it, that works? And we were just down at the shop and she just has some magnificent. Thank you. They just really, and, and again, this is just beautiful. And they're really affordable. Yes. I mean, I know that yes. you can go because you do custom and all of that. Yes. And we were talking about like weddings and how people might mm -hmm. come in and have a particular dress and, right. and so like how long does it take so say I was going to some event and mm -hmm. I wanted to really and again I'm like not the person like this would make me uncomfortable okay but it looks so good on you well, like I'm you. scared to right no. like layer you have jewelry have fun. look at this is called beet soup my arm candy you have to have fun <laughs> with it you know just throw it on and just go but it looks so good on you thank you and do, do you ever feel that way like there's some people who like like i don't wear patterns because mm -hmm. they i feel like it's too much really yeah well, it's like I told her, I'm not afraid to wear anything, but I'm afraid to pick it out. Yeah. <laughs> if somebody puts it on me and says, <clears throat> excuse me, that looks great on you, I'm happy to wear it. I'm not afraid. Okay. But if, so I'm not the kind at, of person right? <laughs> that could go pick it out for myself. Yeah. So that's or you wouldn't go is, pick it out for yourself. I, I wouldn't. I, I'm not a shopper. I don't like to shop. Okay. But I wow. like to, what? Wow. <laughs> no, I, I, like to, I like to be, you know, out there and wear crazy colors and you know i'm, yeah. I'm not afraid yeah. so your store was perfect for me because awesome. i walked in there and you just automatically were like all right you need this and this and i was like yeah let's okay. go <laughs> i have customers like that they will come in and just for maybe re regular day things you know they'll bring in a shirt and some who are afraid to wear patterns or yeah. some that just wear all black yeah, or yeah. something you know you have people who well just, that's a palette right i mean yeah. you can just layer oh, there on that you go <laughs> and i said you know and i have some really nice statement pieces that if you do just have on a simple black shirt I put that necklace on you and it's gonna pop. Yeah. And you'll walk in the room looking like a million bucks, you know, looking like, wow, you know, just from just a simple plain palette. Cause like you yeah. said, it's a, a, like a canvas. Yeah. And so therefore I can go from there and just put something on you and from something that can be dressed up or put on a pair of jeans and dressed down. Mm -hmm. But yet 
you're going to have something unique. You're going to have something that's one of a kind. You're not going to walk in the room and find someone else with the same thing on. Right. Ninety-nine percent of my um, pieces are one of a kind pieces because I said if they can copy what goes in this crazy, comes out this crazy brain. <laughs> good luck, boy. I'm like good luck because <laughs> yeah. So it's just all just I sit and I flow. I call it, I just kind of flow with it and I, I love it. Yeah. yeah. And so again, let's tell people where they can find like. If, if somebody doesn't have time to get down into the shop, where could they like look for your pieces online? Well, we have a website, creationsbytys.com. And also we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on TikTok. We have YouTube tutorials out there, a few videos. Mm -hmm. um, we're also on Snapchat. We're kind of all over social media. I'm so you a little, hit a bunch of different age groups that yeah, way, right? Yeah, <laughs> I try to spread it out, you know. I'm, I struggle a little bit because I'm of the 50 generation. <laughs> 50, so, <laughs> so, I know. That is not a bad place to be <laughs> down there. No, 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 I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Like Marin said, I celebrated my birthday okay. in several places, yeah. So. <laughs> I was kind of extra with it this year, but okay, it was okay. It was good. That's great. <laughs> um, so at the shop, she actually has, um, a, it's, she's got men, a men's line. Yes. So, she, mm -hmm. um, I mean, and I see men a lot with beaded bracelets, you know, bracelets mm -hmm. on. So she does those. And she said a lot of them, you're doing custom. Custom pieces. With the men, is usually um, custom work because some men like smaller gemstones. And I, by the way, I work with natural gemstones and crystals. Mm -hmm. So, and I handpick all of my gemstones. I go to wholesale shows and I actually handpick them because I like to see what I'm getting quality triple A or, or, or maybe A um, gemstones. So they are natural gemstones and I have some vintage pieces as well mm -hmm. that I'll throw in the mix there. But the men a lot of times are custom pieces because each man is different, built different. They prefer different things. Some just like a simple um, small beaded bracelets, some like the big and Mr. Blinky. T starters. Yeah, well, we're not going to but yeah, you know, yeah. You know everyone's unique. And, and I found that men are more kind of unique than women are because some men wear jewelry and some don't, mm -hmm. you know, he's like, I think nah. I've seen it. I, but I think I've seen it become more popular, but, you know, but, but growing, I mean, I'm from Buffalo, New York, and we had a lot of, you know, the just the gold necklaces and mm -hmm. my son like wears jewelry like and my husband doesn't so it's right. the strangest thing to yeah. see that he he likes to Peer wear his pressure. cross and Peer pressure but just no it's mm -mm. just his yeah. thing yeah. yeah yeah it's just his thing yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. i wanted to say one thing i wish that we had connected a little bit sooner mm -hmm. because we are doing we have a group of actors at the sharp house now called the sharp house historic players okay and what i'm trying to do with the sharp house is we're 100 years back oh. so we're doing 1921 and in the 1920s, the women wore a satwa, mm -hmm. which Excuse is a me. very long necklace, oh, very yeah, similar yeah, yeah, to yeah, what yeah, you're like wearing. Even right. longer, yeah. And yeah. we could have used that in our production oh, with that would, costumes. Oh, that awesome. Terry and I will stop by after we finish yeah. this yeah. little bit. We're definitely going to yeah. have conversations. Because <laughs> I'm always looking for pieces that will reflect what we're doing. Great. And that so sounds good. you're my new best friend today. Hello. <laughs> I'm also a grandma, so I think maybe. I see some jewelry for my grandchildren in the future. Okay, yeah. yes, definitely. <laughs> and we'll pass on the card to the children so you get Christmas gifts. There you exactly. go. <laughs> so um, some other things she has in the shop are, are things that she's um, carrying other lines. Yes. Um, and this was just one of the t-shirts. Oh. This is a friend of yours, right? <laughs> yes, just Gina with Scotia this, Bling. She has her own website and um, oh, like we that. support This just one spoke another. to me. If my uh, let's see which Sorry, which camera I've got it on. I think I got it on this one here. So let this me is, zoom in. This is when in. you need ham to stick around. Yeah. That's right. Let me zoom in on that. There it is. If my mouth doesn't say it, my face definitely will. Yeah. Can I get that in a two X? I'll, I'll be there in just a little bit. <laughs> exactly right. I mean, just just really just cute cute things over there. So I encourage everyone to stop by. Yes. In your hours. My hours are Monday and Tuesday, 11 to 5, and then on Wednesday, 1 to 5. Thursdays, I'm technically closed, but I'm usually yeah, in there are. if I don't have appointments. I'm one woman show, so I need some time to get my appointments in and stuff. Yeah. And then on uh, Fridays, 11 to 5, and Saturday is 10 to 5, okay. closed on Sundays. <laughs> so this is a line that, again, let's try and zoom in. That, one, uh, right that one right there. Yeah. Is that not gorgeous? Ooh, that's beautiful. I know. And this is called the Grace Always Collection. Yes. Ooh. 
And so if you could tell everyone a little bit about what that means. That collection ha is very sentimental and dear to my heart. It is one of my uh, most popular um, lines that sell. Um, it stemmed from, I have a very good friend, Lori Stansel in Stanfield, Stanford, Connecticut. She's an international speaker. We've been friends since junior high school, way back. She called me and wanted me to make a piece for her. I thought just a necklace. And she says, no, more on the lines of a line. Want to go in with me? So, okay. So I prayed about this and um, this is what God gave me. Um, the Grace Always Collection, the vintage crystal. Yeah, let me, I'm not, I think I'm gonna buy that one because I like it. The vintage crystal represents the vintage beauty of a woman. Uh, the twisted hammered wire, which I twist and hammer myself, represents the twists and turns that we go through in life. The chain represents God's grace that has always held us together. And then the three stones is your past, present, and future. Oh yeah. Right That's down right. to the price of this piece when um, during prayer and everything with, with the concept of it all, the price can only be forty dollars and five cents. Oh, even better! I didn't even know the price before yes. I said yes. this. Look at that. I was kind of getting a little nervous when she was like, "Oh my God, what have I got myself into?" No, it was forty dollars and five cents, and the forty represents trials and tribulation. Five represents God's grace. So, with our friendship, it had been through ups and downs, but God's grace has brought us back together again. And so out of that came the Grace Always collection. Yes. Isn't yes. that awesome? Yeah. <laughs> Can you or get do one for her to I shook I have them in the shop there. Um, I need that same representation because you just spoke volumes about us. Oh, okay. oh. So, so this How is sweet. this is kind of cool. So that would you call that a I don't know compare it to Terry's. Terry's got that beautiful a heart. Mm -hmm. It's a pendant. Small. Yes. And Marin's wearing now something that's a little more southern word, bodacious. Uh-huh. <laughs> bold. Bold, bold. good I word. I think that's a better word. So uh, <laughs> how do you know, you just ask, do you like smaller jewelry? You know, I am typically a smaller jewelry person because in my other life i teach small children so you have to watch for things that hit people <laughs> oh, yeah. it's so practical but i would definitely wear that yeah that's a good would length you? it's yeah. not too long not at all and these have been customized in so many different ways some people have gotten them for loved ones that have passed on especially during COVID. i had a lot of people mm -hmm. um so i can um alter them um customize them to your liking i can put your dates in here someone had like the dates of their birth the the husband's birth mm -hmm. and the dates that he passed oh, and there also with his special stone his special color that he yeah. likes um i've done them that's which was really, sadly for a lady who had lost three children mm -hmm. okay. and that just hit me dear to my heart that mm -hmm. took me out but um she was absolutely overwhelmed and she said now i can bring them with me to my son's wedding oh uh, there wasn't a dry eye in the building mm -hmm. yeah oh god so they've just been from happy moments to sad moments but they can definitely be customized mm -hmm. cool <sighs> Just all that happening. <laughs> yes. Plus earrings, right? Yeah, earrings. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, and bracelets. Girl, bracelets, See, earrings. Right? You and couldn't wear those to school rings. either. I mean, rings. No, I couldn't. No. Earrings with but I, I do. I do love them. <laughs> Whole earlobe. Like, I just love them. When you retire weight. one day, you can wear all this bling. Well, she's got well, days off. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you don't that work. That brings out my uh, inner hippie girl right That's there. Right. I can feel it coming. All right. Well, definitely come and visit and go online to check out um, Creations by Ties and mm -hmm. these are just they're just bravo I know I kind of so chills when you, you put it on yeah. it's not just a piece of jewelry no. it made me and later to, and later today as Marin is doing she's like oh I forgot to give that back <laughs> no I'm gonna go buy it <laughs> oh that's what I said I was I wanted to buy it before she even told me the price and I started getting a little nervous like oh my gosh what have I committed to <laughs> and what's um, what's well. your uh, store address my store address is road. 111 South Center Street Suite 101 right here in Statesville North Carolina okay yeah just Beautiful. down the Block. Just That's right. Down here. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, and so the other thing that we have going on this weekend, pretty cool, is Romeo and Juliet. Um, mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about what you guys have going on down there at the Sharp House. Well, people have been calling me and calling me. When are you going to start doing things at the Sharp House? Well, the time has come. <laughs> the introduction was done with the Mother's Day tea, which was a rousing success. We are so grateful to all of the turnout. It was 220 plus people. Oh, wow. wow. Uh, Saturday afternoon, my footmen were worn out. Mm. 
-hmm. How many? Uh, Four seatings. Four seatings, wow. Mm. And I did not give them enough time in between the seatings. And so <laughs> it looks good. She should have been kill. selling jewelry. I, it, yeah, I, yeah. Well, we yeah. are friends now. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> we open tonight with the historic players and Romeo and Juliet. Curtains at 8 p.m. The gates will open to the backyard. What we affectionately call the pasture. Um, someone said... I don't think people will come since you call it a pasture. And I said, well, if they think there's a pasture in downtown, <laughs> they may not, never mind. Well, there used to be there. There I used mean. to be. 150 years ago, the Sharp House was a beautiful little 13-acre farm outside of town. Yeah. Oh, wow. Downtown at that time was these two square blocks here yeah. in the middle. Mm -hmm. And so we affectionately call it Shakespeare in the Pasture. Our dear friend Jennifer Grant helped coin that phrase, yeah. and Which, so by the it way, sticks. She just said, "What a great looking group." <laughs> Good morning, Jennifer. Hello, Dan. Um, and so we started out three years ago with Midsummer Night's Dream. The next year, it didn't work out. Then COVID hit last year. Mm -hmm. We have been working on this play for 18 months, wow. a well, we year and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we do. And last night's dress rehearsal, we got some reviews back on it, and it was it was nice. I do have um, a review from Jennifer Grant, and I can ah. read it real quick. Um, so Jennifer has been a staple in the theater for decades, and she has um, starred in, directed, produced, as well as a consultant with other theater groups. Um, and she's currently a charter board member with the Center Stage Alliance. Mm -hmm. And she was at the dress rehearsal last night. And this was her review. Mm. The weather was cool and clear. When you arrive at the venue, you are greeted with beautiful music and a gorgeous set. The only bugs are the beautiful lightning bugs, <laughs> giving even more magic to the evening. As the play begins, I'm immediately transported to the old museum where we did so many Shakespeare plays. As the actors came onto the stage and the action began, you were struck by how beautiful the costuming is. And we're on a street in Verona to watch the story of Romeo and Juliet. The show is a vision of Keith Ryan with the Sharp House, along with the experienced Terry M. Wall as his able assistant director. The cast was huge and included people from our community. Everyone did an outstanding job with their characters, a very entertaining evening in the final scene will have you wiping away a tear. Oh. A great show for everyone. This was a true community theater experience, and I hope the audiences will come. You will be in awe of the talent and the creativity shown during this production. Beautiful wow. words, Jennifer. Well, I'm done. Thank That's you. right. Uh, done. Drop the mic. I want to yeah. cry right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, Terry is now, she's been my assistant director through most of those months, but now I've had to hand the hat over to her, and she is now the director of the show, has been for the last few weeks. Yeah. Because we had, with COVID, we have had transition. We do not have the the original cast that we auditioned and cast back a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Different circumstances have uh, arisen, and so we've had to make some changes. So, unfortunately, I'm Lord Capulet. <laughs> and I had to hand it off to Terry and give her the baby, so she's taking care of it now. And an excellent job she's doing. Well, thank you. Fantastic. Apparently, Jennifer is very... It's a labor of love. So, so, I'm I was going to say, so uh, you're... What do you teach? What's your teaching? What do you teach? My regular job is that I drive a school bus. Okay. <laughs> and I teach at Cloverleaf Elementary School. I'm a teacher assistant. So e uh, elementary age uh, teaching. Yes. General and teaching. I also drive a high school bus. So I get the gamut from <laughs> one end, from wow. kindergarten to graduate. So how did you get into directing uh, theater? Well, I am a native of Statesville, North Carolina. I've never lived anywhere else. I've been many places, but this is the place that I call home. Um, when Bill and I were in high school, I had a fabulous theater teacher, Miss Wallace, thank you very much, wherever you are, um, <laughs> who gave me a great appreciation for literature and the ability of theater to let you bring the things in your heart out into the public as another person where you don't put your heart at risk when you do that. Oh. Um, so I've grown up in theater in Statesville. Um, Jenny talked about the, the pump station over on Museum <laughs> Road um, where we had the Hinkle Theater. Um, I've done the vagina monologues here. I've done Calendar Girls. Um, 
we talked about break a leg earlier. I actually broke my arm in a production of Dixie Swim Club, and my character had a broken arm. So you really got I'm, into character. I'm not a method actor, and I don't recommend it. But but I love all aspects of the theater, and I think that it gives you, as a teacher, it gives you an opportunity to learn. The other night at at rehearsal, we were working on the set and I was watching Benvolio and Mercutio work together and they were hanging an urn that Keith had asked them to earn, to hang on the balcony. And I heard that teaching going on mm. because Benvolio is a carpenter by trade. Mm -hmm. oh. That's what he does for a living. So he was explaining to Mercutio, no, you need to hold the drill like this and you need to do this with the screw and that'll make it stay in the wall better. So for us, we have a cast from age nine to old enough to know better so <laughs> it's a great opportunity for us as a community and the people who are in the show are from here yeah that's, oh, excellent. that's nice that's excellent mm -hmm. and it, it gives our young people an investment in what they do there's a lot of sweat equity mm -hmm. in this show yeah these these kids and the older people in the show have painted sets They've swept the floor. Mm -hmm. They've sewed on buttons. Wow. They've done their own makeup. They've taught each other how to do hair. And those are the things that, that bring out my spirit in, yeah. in community mm -hmm. theater. That's so awesome. so I'm excited about it. The historic Sharp House, the foundation, the Silas Alexander Sharp Foundation, has three major goals. One is to preserve the house and keep the Colonel's memory alive as being Statesville's first mayor. The second is to use the house for events for the community by the community and number three is to use the house for education the granddaughters who set up the foundation and have enabled us to be able to keep the house and use it taught and i have been told by various people i did not have the privilege of getting to meet them and get to know them but mm. i have run into people who did know them and they said shakespeare at the house Oh my God, they would have eaten you up. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're doing 1920s at the house in the old pasture stage. And the sets are unbelievable. And our cast and crew have built all that. Wow. The wow. props that you see come from people's houses. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So our lives are on that stage. Yeah. That's cool. awesome. There so, are pieces so in Mercutio's uniform and I'll just leave it as a uniform, that were worn by my brother oh. in Vietnam. Really? Oh. I lost my brother when I was four years old. Oh, wow. And I went to the house, mm. and my parents' house, and I'm looking through things, and I'm like, there they are. Yeah. Mm. And I found his medals, and Coley Johnson's played Mercutio, and he does the uniform proud. Wow. How cool That's is so that? Awesome. I can't so, wait for you people to come see this. So yeah. this is Romeo and Juliet, but it's set in the 1920s. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's we're Shakespearean still, yeah. language. You're still thou art mm -hmm. and wherefore we, art thou. And we, we are. <clears> and <throat> in theater, a Shakespearean audience is kind of taught um, because we don't talk that way anymore. <laughs> but... <laughs> there is such a rhyme and such a reason to the speech that it's easy for you to understand and it stimulates you to say, excuse me, what did he say? Yes. <laughs> and then you go and Google it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank God out. for Googling. But we no don't cell phones. Encyclopedia Britannica anymore. Yeah, but no cell phones during performance, please. Yes. <laughs> okay. And wear sensible shoes. We are outside. Yeah, we are. Yeah, so uh, tell us about how someone would, would get a, a, a ticket or what the. Well, tell us. Tell us. Being today is opening night, um, dinner mm -hmm. tickets are no longer available because we had to turn in that number to our caterers, the mm -hmm. smoke pit out of Concord. Mm. I've been on the phone with them yesterday and today and ironing out the tiniest details. Food will be delivered this evening from them and we will serve those people who have bought dinner tickets up at the house, then they can stroll down. Tickets today, if you'd like them, are still available on eventbrite.com, listed under the Sharp House, or just search in the Eventbrite for Romeo and Juliet. Um, tickets are available at the door as long as we have enough chairs. Okay. Uh, we're not so sold out yet. So what's the seating? It's, I'm sorry? What is the seating capacity? The seating, 100 plus. Okay. Uh, we're very close to that. So okay. if you want tickets for tonight, I'd suggest going ahead to Eventbrite and getting them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, but we have two more nights where we're running through Friday and Saturday night. 
Um, doors open or the gates open at 730. Please enter through the paved driveway. You'll see the check-in mm -hmm. table. We're also doing our we're famous for our raffles now. <laughs> yes, Mama's Pound Cake's going to be on there. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we've, got, we've got various donations that are going toward the raffle. Uh, we also um, have a concession stand now, thanks to Tanya Fowler and the Fowler family, who've been a, a, a big supporter of this production. And they're all in the show. They're one all. One way or the other. Really? Yes. That's awesome. Every wow. one of them. Rob is running Spotlight. Caleb's the newest edition like two days ago. <laughs> like, put him in an outfit. He needs to be on stage. <laughs> and he was beaming last night. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, fabulous. Like, yeah. He's a little ham. He is. Mm -hmm. So, but we, you know, our goal in doing Romeo and Juliet is to just provide Shakespeare for Statesville. Um, it's from our hearts, of course. But you'll see every heart and their beat on that stage. Wow. Cool. Um, I've cried. She's mm -hmm. cried. These Well, Jennifer has yeah. cried. The music yeah. is fabulous. And part of that's been provided by fabulous. Western Piedmont Symphony, our new friends oh, in Hickory. Wow. Oh, that's fabulous. Um, yeah, it is. I mean, there's been such an outpouring of love. St. Stephen's Lutheran loaned us a, uh, a mixing board. Oh, cool. Because yeah. yours wasn't the big enough. Of my car. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's in the back seat of your car. <coughs> okay. So if you want to have dinner Friday or Saturday, is that still available? No, so dinner we, is, yeah. is done. Yeah, dinner is done. Those so you're going to miss for, out on yeah. that. Well, yeah. dinner at the house is done, right. but you, you can, can go out in downtown. any of our wonderful yes. restaurants in downtown before going to the show. <laughs> but yes. make a reservation because that means yes. they're going to be busy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And do we so. park at the Civic Center? Park at the Civic Center. There's also the, the small parking lot behind the Sharp House, mm -hmm. um, beside the Pasture House. Our cast and crew have all been instructed. Our neighbors next door have said, yes, yeah, sure, go ahead and use our parking area for your, your family. So, because that's what we are now. That's right. So, Okay. So right. tell everybody again where they, where they go to get tickets. Eventbrite.com. Uh, there's links on our Facebook page, the historic Sharp House. The my page, the and historic Sharp House players. How much are tickets? Tickets are eighteen dollars for adults, nine dollars for youth. Okay. We did not post children's tickets because we didn't think the little ones. This show was appropriate for them mm -hmm. since there is some violence and there is some gruesome. Okay. And death. And death. Mm -hmm. So and and we wanted this to make this yeah and and try and figure out what mommy why they say I, you know <laughs> let's not explain it during the show mother please <laughs> you know. all right so uh, Michael Meyer says exciting and uh, Tanya Fowler yes says, <laughs> hey Tanya Romeo and Juliet is amazing such a beautiful vision comes to life Keith and Terry have gone above and beyond Aww. thank you Tanya thank you thank you um. I uh, wanted to shout out and thank um, Amy Wilson at the Burks at the Civic Center. I had asked her, because I'm a little foggy right now. It's been three nights of late <laughs> night. Um, her company, Video Pro, North yes. Carolina, right. is videoing every night's performance, and including last night's dress rehearsal. They're going to segment and edit and put together a complete polished production of this. Oh, cool. Wow. And my desire is to take that to the area nursing homes and have a movie night for the residents. Aww. For oh, those people cool. that could not make it out <clears throat> and come to the pasture stage and see the outdoor yeah. production. So that way we're giving back to our community even after we close. Excellent. Because awesome. it is just this it weekend. It is just this weekend. Three nights only. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. And it's been a year in the making. A year and a Eight half. A year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we're proud of saying that. It's a year and a half in blood, sweat, and tears. Oh, and just sure. point of reference, typically a theatrical production is six to eight weeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So everybody you, should know their lines by now. Well, because of the that's right, changes, changes somehow. Your cast. That's right. <laughs> Don't hold me to that. Okay. But, you know, it's Shakespeare, so embellishment <laughs> is not recommended. So. All right. So show starts at what time? Eight o'clock. Gates open at seven thirty. All right. Okay. We look forward to seeing everyone there. Absolutely. In beautiful downtown Statesville. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, I don't you, even Tanisha. want to look at the weather. Thank you. Thank the you. weather is perfect. Right? Okay, great. <laughs> there is low humidity. We asked oh, for that. this is great. Listening mm -hmm. to Tanisha and, and her testimony about having faith in everything. That's right. Right, Terry? Absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. We ask and it's been delivered yes. thus far. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. You. If so we get any bad like things, King? it'll be because you know who. 
Mm. It could be like a King James version, you know, when you read the Bible, the King James is thou shalt not and all this stuff. <laughs> and you have to go like, I just go to the Amplified. Like you say, go to, what do you say? <laughs> My favorite line in the whole show is there, art thou happy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and we are. <laughs> yep. Yes. All right. Uh, thanks again, Tanisha. Yes. Thanks thank you. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Thank you. I loved meeting you, Tanisha. I like We're you our too. new best friends. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Grantham. <laughs> thank you, sir. No, oh, Lord. Mr. Carson. I'm just okay. a servant. I got you. <laughs> and thank you, Liz, for, uh, you know, being the... Being me. Being the supporting person you are. And jewelry model. Yes. And jewelry model. Very nice. She did nice. it quite lovely. Right. Very bleak. God too. bless and the lady And as always, thank you, Marin <laughs> Thomas. Thank you, Nellie. And uh, if we want to find out more about downtown Statesville, where do we find you? Downtownstatesville.com. How easy is that? Yay. Yeah, that's it. Your grace. Nice and easy. We thank thee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Jay Farner here, CEO of Rocket Mortgage and Rocket Companies. Last year, we saw historically low mortgage interest rates. In fact, over 1 million homeowners took advantage of refinancing or buying a new home with Rocket Mortgage. What you may not know is that.